What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at iOS 7 Beta 3. Now, just a couple weeks ago, Apple announced iOS 7 Beta 2, and here we are already at Beta 3. This is set for release of uh, July 8th, 2013, and it was true. Today's the 9th, though. It's a, I'm a little day late on this video. Sorry about that, but uh, I still wanted to come out and make this video to let you guys know it is available. Here we're looking at it running on my iPad Mini. We've never done this before where we uh, look at a beta version running on an iPad, so this is a first. Um, but since after beta 2, iOS 7 is now available on the iPad, I figured why not try it out. So here it is. Um, this update mainly just brings a lot of bug fixes, pretty much what uh, all the iOS updates consist of at this point, you know, mainly the betas. Uh, but I'm hoping that a lot more is going to come, like icon changes and just some big things that um, they really didn't get a chance to announce at WWDC 2013. Um, but I gotta say that the uh, OS itself feels a lot smoother and the text looks a little bit richer and a little bit bolder. Uh, it's not as easily noticeable on a non-retina display iPad, which my iPad mini in this case is. However, on my iPhone, it especially is I think it's great uh, it looks so much better however you know there are still a lot of glitches that need to be uh, squashed here and there um, that really aggravate a lot of people including me but I gotta hand it to them I mean they did come up with a really nice uh, OS and they're just developing it so uh, I don't really have a problem um, but as you can see I'll, I will prove to you also that I'm running um, beta 3 you could see down there I have it open in photos I blocked it out because of my serial but uh, the version down there is a different model number compared to the last couple of betas that means it is running beta 3 just so you guys know just for proof I guess you could say um, but we'll head back to the home screen here now two of the glitches um, that annoy me the most that unfortunately weren't fixed in this update uh, consist of the one in game center you could see I have a little one on the icon there and that is a turn from the uh, despicable me game minion rush it's, it's a super fun game um, but it auto matched a player for me and it never has worked and I cannot swipe to delete it or anything and it's really aggravating me so it's it's on my iPhone it's on my iPad um, so I'm just leaving it there at this point but that little red one uh, is really starting to uh, get on my nerves and then another common glitch that I even talked about on Twitter as well I'll open a couple apps here just so you guys can see so I'll open up settings um, I will open up new well new stand won't matter um, but I'll open up reminders and I will even open up iTunes store now we're here in the iTunes store and when I double tap so let's say I was just in uh, the iTunes app so I'll head back to the iTunes app real quick double tap and if I double tap I swipe up on them swipe up on these last three just to end them all come back you'll see that my home screen goes right to black and this is really an annoyance and um, it happens on the iPhone it's been happening since beta 2 beta 1 when you would do that it would just go to a blank screen and the only way to get it back from uh, that blank screen in beta 1 or beta 2 and 3 to get rid of this black screen uh, is to actually lock the device itself and turn it back on and the home screen goes back to normal it just it's such an annoyance and since I always like to uh, swipe my apps to kill them so that you know it doesn't slow up my device it, it just gets really annoying um, and it would be a nice little uh, bug to squash when they get the chance and lastly guys if you want to go ahead and update uh, you could just head to settings general software update and you can see I'm fully updated here but if you're not already if you're on beta 2 or beta 1 you'll have the option to go right to it if you're still not registered the glitch still hasn't been patched uh, if you haven't seen that in my video there will be a link in the description uh, that'll get you iOS 7 early if you'd like um, the glitch still works and you could still update over the year with this software update feature you could use my method do it directly from iTunes and if you're still running iOS 6 and want to try it iOS 7 my method still does work again links are in the description and if you need those links uh, to download the firmware, uh, that'll also be in the description as well, right from iModZone, uh, downloads.net, or whatever their website is. Uh, it's, it's, in my opinion, the most trusted. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, all links will be in the description to get uh, iOS 7 Beta 3 now, uh, downloads, my method, and stuff like that. Uh, so go check it out, and you guys know how to update uh, right from your device if you'd like to. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.